Hey everybody, so today I got to talk about duct typing in Python. Duct typing is another way to achieve polymorphism besides using inheritance. Objects can be treated as if they're a different type, as long as they meet the minimum necessary attributes and methods required of them. It follows this adage, if it looks like a duck and quacks like a duck, it must be a duck. As long as an object resembles another, it could also be treated of that type. So in this example, let's create a class of animal. We will have a class attribute of alive. If you're an animal, you will have an attribute of alive. You're a living creature. Let's create a class of dog. The dog class will inherit from the animal class. They will inherit the alive attribute. Let's also define a speak method. If you're a dog, you gain the ability to speak. We will print Woof. Then we'll create a cat class. Class cat inherits from animal. For the speak method, we will print meow. Let's create a list of animals. What do these two classes have in common? They both could be considered animals. Let's create a list of animals. We will construct a dog object and a cat object. If I was to write a for loop, for every animal in my list of animals, have each animal use its speak method, which will result in the dog going woof, the cat going meow. They're both speaking. What if we add a class that has nothing to do with animals? Like class car. Cars will have a horn method. That's how they speak. When you honk the horn, you will print honk. Within my list of animals, let's create a car object. It really doesn't belong in here, but let's see what happens. We have an attribute error. Car object has no attribute speak. Our car object doesn't have the minimum necessary attributes and methods. When iterating through this list of animals, we're calling each animal speak method, which our car object doesn't have, but it does have a horn method. So what if we rename our horn method as speak? Maybe it's an AI car or something. Well, this would work. The dog goes woof, the cat goes meow, the car goes honk. So our car object, it quacks like a duck. We could consider it a duck. It has the minimum necessary methods to be considered an animal. Animals inherit this alive attribute. Let's utilize that. After the animal speaks, let's print their alive attribute. Print my animals alive attribute. My car object doesn't have that attribute. We get an attribute error. Car object has no attribute alive. But if I was to add that attribute, Alive equals false. We have true for the dog, it's living. True for the cat, it's living. But false for the car, it's not living. It's not a living creature. My car meets the minimum necessary requirements to be considered an animal. If I were to set this to be alive, well then it would be a living car. Kind of like the movie Cars. So with Python, Duck typing is another way to achieve polymorphism besides using inheritance. As long as an object has the minimum necessary attributes and methods, you could treat it as a different type of object. If it looks like a duck and quacks like a duck, it must be a duck. And well, everybody, that is duck typing in Python.